after the the mental institution rescue, Sarah Connor chastises John Connor. John, it was stupid of you to go there. You have to be smarter than that. You almost got yourself killed. What were you thinking? You cannot risk yourself even for me. Do you understand? You're too important. I had to get you out of that place. I'm sorry. I didn't need your help. I can take care of myself. What's wrong with your eyes? You yeah, quit it. Quit crying. Get crying. John What's Connor. wrong with your eyes? <laughs> totally like like <laughs> miss the tone. Like, hmm, what's wrong with you? So, missed so the I tone. Got... What? Missed the tone. Continue. Okay, okay. So I agree with what Sarah Connor is saying. Like he John Connor needs to be careful. He needs to be careful because he mm -hmm. needs to be alive in the future to lead the human army against the machines. Mm -hmm. However, I think it's helicopter parenting. Like if he's going to be the leader, he needs to develop a confidence in himself of knowing that he can handle scary. And so she needs to let John encounter danger slowly over time until he knows how to handle problems. So, so by chastising him and like making him afraid and pushing him to not take risks, that could actually doom the human species by making a leader that's too weak. Great, especially at this age where he's starting to leave the nest. Mm -hmm. So more risk-taking needs to be encouraged. If he's going to be that leader, he needs to be able to assess risk and make decisions. That's right. And so he made this call, and so it was successful. It needs to be encouraged. It could be a lesson about caution, a lesson about planning, a lesson about something. But it shouldn't be you have to defend yourself at all times because uh -huh. he, he, he won't be the leader. Right. If he needs to defend himself at all times, then at some point when he needs to take a risk, he's not going to have a good assessment of what's too much risk, what's too little risk. How do I ride that line? And so he needs to just live the life of riding the line of danger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so maybe Sarah Connor at this point is not able to give him the guidance that he needs, but she is giving him something to rebel against. That's true. So, that would also work. A helicopter parent, then he may be like, no, I'm going to go the other way. And now he's yeah. risk taking on his own and like really, mm -hmm. really having to assess what's too mm -hmm. risky or not without his mother's guidance. This could be her, her 500 <laughs> IQ <laughs> galaxy brain. She, she figured out the game. I doubt she's doing it intentionally. It's probably happy, happy coincidence if that's the re reason. Unless she's doing like, you know, 4D chess on her. <laughs> 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 exactly. Right. She knows how to push him away enough to get him independent. Yep. Oof. 